Okay, so uh, the two packages of grids that I bought were all used up. So um, this is what two packages of grids will do. Exactly two, which is 26, uh, 13 in a package. Um, so it will build you this. And the reason I wanted that was for that. That's the whole point of that. Um, I'm going to put a cage back up here, but I will still have 10 pieces left. Now, if you count this, it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I actually have enough to make it two grids high, her walls, but uh, it will make interacting with her really hard. So uh, I'm going to actually use the last couple to do this, but um, we'll see. Uh, so now I'm actually going to go on to the last phase, which is to put her original cage back up. And um, because it's already been a little over an hour, uh, it's actually one uh, 12 20 uh, 12 35 now um, Mocha latte has actually been out of her cage and in a temporary holding bin uh, it's only uh, I think one by two feet so two square feet uh, for like over an hour now and all she's had is her bed her igloo and some hay she hasn't had any water because the water thing wouldn't fit in there obviously it's a water fountain um, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put this together and the chloroplast, I'm still debating whether I want to do it or not because I don't care to, you know, because I'm using potty sheets. I'm not using um, fleece and I'm not using bedding like uh, uh, Carefresh or whatever. So there's really no point in that except for, I guess, make it easier to clip. Um, so, and since she's potty training, that will definitely mean I don't need to, but uh, we'll see. Uh, let's see how long this last level takes. So right now this thing, my hip is right here. So um, we're talking about exactly one hand from wrist to finger high from the edge. So her cage will end up right about here. So um, I'm going to go get started.